good morning everyone so today I'm making a bread uh, is a recipe that I adopted from the UK it is called an olive and rosemary crown so we're gonna make that now or we're gonna start off with two cups of all-purpose flour then we're going to add two and a half teaspoons of yeast fast acting Two and a half. Okay. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of, of fresh rosemary. And one fourth cup of butter unsalted and we're just gonna get it all in there you're gonna separate mash the dough the flour the butter sorry <laughs> with your fingers till it comes like little fine bread crumbs within the flour And you're gonna make a little well like we're gonna add half a cup of warm milk and one egg okay and you're gonna go in This is what you're looking for. Okay. Now we're gonna knead it for about, if you're doing it by hand, knead it for about 10 minutes. You want to stretch it a little bit. You pull, fold, pull, fold. And you do that for about 10 minutes by hand or about five minutes with the mixer. Okay, so when you finish kneading it, we're just going to put it back in the bowl. You add about a teaspoon of olive oil in the bowl. Here it is. Okay, put this back in here and cover it with some cling wrap or a towel, a kitchen towel, and let it rest for about an hour and a half. Okay, so it's proofed for about an hour and a half. Take it out. I put some flour on the counter. All right. Now we're going to kind of roll it out. 
into like a rectangular shape. Okay, so we have it rolled out in like a rectangular shape. So now, we are going to add some of what we made. Try to get out some of the water. Well, the liquid. Just spread it out. Okay, you have to get all in there. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to go in with the blue cheese. Now we're just gonna roll. Okay, so the seam side is down. Now we're going to go in with the knife and we're going to cut.
Okay, so we left this little piece here. We didn't cut all the way down. We just cut from here. So it kind of looks like an A. The letter A <laughs> without the little line. <laughs> so now you're going to turn this upward. And we are going to fold it. So you bring this side over so, that side over so. And we do the same thing like that. this over again you get the idea right And you're just gonna join them here you can put a little water I'm just putting the oil the olive oil you join it and that's it you're gonna let it stay to proof again for about a half an hour so it doubles in size again, and then we're going to bake. Okay, so we're going to let it sit again for about 30 minutes. And as you can see, this side is already starting to rise again. So all you need is about 30 minutes. So we'll be right back after that. Okay, so to recap, we're doing an olive and rosemary crown bread. It has tapenada and blue cheese um, inside and the tapenada recipe I'm gonna put in the caption for you guys um, and we're gonna bake this now at 430 degrees for about 20 minutes after it's finished bake I am going to add some of this orange fig jam spread I just love this oh my god like I just really really love this with crackers it's like amazing it's really sweet but it's very amazing so I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for about mm, like two minutes and I'm gonna spread it over this after it's finished bake and sprinkle some rosemary fresh rosemary and then it's time to cut and eat okay so see you in a bit all right so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven i already um heated up the jam so we're just gonna glaze it with the jam glaze it with the jam
Okay, so after we glaze it with the fig jam, you can also use apricot jam. Um, okay, so I think we have enough here because this is really sweet. If you're going to use this particular brand, bear in mind it's really sweet, so don't put too much. All right, then we're just going to garnish with some fresh rosemary. Olive and rosemary crown bread. Oh, this is going to be so good. Right, so we'll see you on the next video.